Concepts. Today we will discuss the fifth video of thermodynamic concept for engine design series, so which is bubble point calculations. Uh, this is about me. I am presenter Lokesh Kumar Singh, CUMD Petrol Horizon Oil and Gas Engineering Private Limited. Uh, this is uh, my qualification, education and experience. You can visit our company website petrolhorizon.com to know more about me and my company and uh, you can get the direct link of uh, our uh, YouTube channel videos on our company website. So let's talk about the bubble point calculations. So bubble point calculation include the bubble point pressure bubble point temperature and bubble point composition of vapor phase and liquid phase. So bubble point calculation are required for column operating pressure calculation and column unit optimization. Since the column liquid feed stream is normally at bubble point condition to give advantage in separation by proper feed stream flashing in column. So bubble point temperature feed also makes design engineer calculation work easy while doing the column operating pressure and temperature calculation you will see how when uh, I will teach you uh, the bubble point calculations in this video I will teach you how to calculate bubble point temperature experimentally and manual calculation for bubble point pressure calculation for ideal as well as for non ideal liquid system so bubble point pressure temperature calculation. so in this video we will explain you how high cis calculate bubble point pressure and temperature how bubble point pressure and temperature can be calculated manually so first thing is to know what is bubble point pressure and temperature practically so let's see this uh, setup so this is a vessel in which the uh, uh, subcooled water is there and we are heating with uh, some heating source and this is the pressure gauge mounted on it and this is temperature gauge mounted in it for the pressure and temperature reading so what is bubble point at fixed pressure bubble point temperature is the temperature of liquid where bubble just start forming on the liquid surface we see we have shown the uh, bubbles on liquid surface so see if we start heating let's say we have a liquid in vessel at a subcooled condition so if we start heating so what will happen the temperature of this water will rise and at if we keep on heating at certain temperature the bubble formation on the liquid surface will start so that temperature at which the first bubble start on the liquid surface and if you see the pressure temperature reading at that time so that temperature is known as bubble point temperature at this fixed pressure reading or fixed temperature fixed pressure so now hope you clear that what is bubble point experimentally so what is special at bubble point actually see at bubble point this is just a boiling liquid so at bubble point the vapor fraction is insignificant because the vapor is the vapor formation has just started that means the vapor fraction is insignificant all the fraction is liquid fraction so therefore at bubble point composition is given by liquid fraction xi only so we'll use this concept for calculation so how Raoult's law apply for the bubble point calculations for ideal liquid so at bubble point as stated above there is only liquid fraction so we assume sigma y equal to sigma y i equal to 1 so now Raoult's law this expression for ideal uh, liquids Raoult's law expression so it becomes like this if we take sigma on both sides so sigma y i will keep it 1 so it becomes p equal to sigma x i p i set so if we take the binary system and where the two component is there so this become x1 x2 and this p1 p2 so we can say that p equal to sum of x1 p1 set plus x2 p2 set now this we know that x1 plus x2 equal to 1 and y1 plus y2 equal to 1 for a binary system so we can replace x2 here by 1 minus x1 p2 
P2 set. So if we know the x1, x1 and p1, p1 and p2 set, so we can calculate the bubble point pressure. So for what we'll do for non-ideal liquids, see how we'll apply this. For non-ideal liquids, deviation from ideality is repre represented by activity coefficient y in the Raoult's law equation. So for ideal liquid, activity coefficient is y, or activity coefficient gamma equal to 1. For non-ideal liquids with so positive deviation from the Raoult's law, activity coefficient y value is more than 1. And for uh, non-ideal liquids which show negative deviation for Raoult's law, activity coefficient value is less than 1. So we have to include the activity coefficient. So we will use for non-ideal liquid the modified Raoult's law. So for uh, non-ideal liquids we will use the modified Raoult's law which is yip equal to gamma i xi pi set. So we use again the summation of both sides. So sigma y i at bubble point will keep 1 and p equal to becomes sigma gamma i xi pi set. So for positive deviation from the Raoult's law gamma is greater than 1 it means pressure of the system will be more than the ideal one. Negative deviation from the Raoult's law gamma will be less than 1 it means pressure of the system will be less than the ideal one. Now this is yip for non-ideal this uh, equation is for non-ideal liquid so yi will be yi xi pi set upon p so yi is proportional to gamma i that means for positive deviation gamma i is more than 1 that means yi will increase similarly for negative deviation gamma I is less than 1 that means the yi will decrease. So as explained in the previous video of column operating pressure y is the vapor phase fraction of the recovering component i on the top of column. Therefore for the liquid showing positive deviation coefficient y i will increase consequently the distillation fraction and efficiency will be more. In case of negative deviation y i will, will reduce and the fraction of distillation efficiency will reduce. So how to calculate bubble point pressure? This is our main uh, target. So if we have a liquid mixture with a known liquid fraction xi at a certain temperature t, we want to calculate the bubble point pressure. So we'll use for ideal liquid, we'll use this equation as we have just derived this equation for ideal liquid p equal to sigma xi pi set. If the liquid is binary mixer then it will become x1, x2, p1, p2 so it will be like this. So this equation will be uh, for binary system uh, bubble point calculation. So x1, x2 is given and p1, p2 set can be calculated from the Antonio equation at a given temperature T. So Antonio equation is ln p1 set for uh, uh, p1 pressure. So uh, a a1 minus b1 c1 min, uh, minus t actually this uh, Antonio equation is like this ln p set equal to a minus b upon c minus t but we have taken a1 b1 c1 because for component 1 for pure component 1 this a a b c will be different than component 2 so uh, that's why we have kept a2 b2 and c2. The temperature is same in both the equation but this constant values which we will get from the data book so this will be different so this our p1 set and p2 set will be different values so here we keep this p p1 p2 set and then kilopascal and temperature in kelvin so when you put them temperature in kelvin and these values so you will get p1 set in kilopascal so by substituting these values like p1 set and p2 set and x1 x2 so you will get this value which is the bubble point pressure value for a non-ideal liquid you will use this equation modified Raoult's law equation and this we have dried already in previous slides p equal to sigma yi xi this is the uh, equation for uh, bubble point calculation for non-ideal liquid so if the again we have taken the binary liquid mixture 
so it become like this this equation so this is this equation is for bubble point pressure calculation for non ideal liquid for binary system so by knowing the value of x1 x2 you know x1 x2 p1 set p2 set we have already calculated for ideal liquid the same value will use here so it's already calculated so now uh, we need the activity coefficient value so activity coefficient we can use activity coefficient equation which is ln gamma 1 equal to a x2 square and ln gamma 2 equal to a x1 square so we know x1 and x2 we need to calculate only a which is based on the temperature so we can calculate this value um, so uh, gamma 1 will be e to the power a x 2 square and gamma 2 equal to e to the power a x 1 square so this value for this activity coefficient equation a can be calculated as a equal to a minus bt where a and b are the experimental value constant which is available for pure component in data book like parry so by substituting these values x1 x2 p1 p1 set p2 set gamma 1 and gamma 2 in equation 2 which is this equation so you will get this pressure which is the bubble point pressure for non-ideal liquid so i think now by watching this video you can calculate the bubble point pressure for ideal and non-ideal liquids so thanks for watching and this is our petrogen offering for petroleum and chemical and mechanical engineering student we have two courses one is well, uh, value added training course second is six month uh, design skill training course this value added training course is for for first year second year third year and final year student and uh, this cost is 10,000 to 15,000 and this six month uh, design skill course is for only for third year and final year student because after completion of training course we provide the opportunity to work in design MNC and domestic companies national and international with a uh, with a very good packages for chemical and petroleum and mechanical engineering students we also provide the free consultation to third year and final year student for doing their project work uh, in design field we are providing three days demo training and awareness classes at their own company address uh, company office to know exactly what is the engineering design uh, because the most of the people are confused about the engineering design what is engineering design because they think design is AutoCAD but that is not it's entirely different we use many software simulation software design standard code and basic concepts to do the equipment sizing used in oil and gas refinery petrochemical and chemical sectors so here we are successfully running two training batches from since my 2017 first value added training batch is uh, we are training the students on Aspen Hysis foundation course for simulation second batch is mechanical design engineering batch this is six month duration we have kept the number of student maximum 10 per batches to give them full attention and make their concepts uh, crystal clear and uh, for anything you can contact us uh, on a uh, by mail on this mail id mentioned here and you can call us on the numbers mentioned here you can also visit our company office which is here in prem nagar nandaki chauki near punjab national bank suddhowala road Tehradun. so please subscribe to our youtube channel to get updated with new videos you can also visit our company website www.petrohorizon.com where you will get the direct link of our youtube video uh, which we have uploaded previously and the uh, new and latest video also uh, you can also see our value added training courses on our company website if you go in training section you will see and uh, the value added training courses for university and colleges colleges where you will see the list of value added training courses so you can select any training courses discuss with us and we are here to make you expert on those topics and great with the great depth understanding thanks a lot once again for watching our video